happy Saturday! So today we have a lot to do. I think we're going to John's soccer game and a few family parties, but today Eddie's gonna help me wax my underarms. And I'm kind of freaking out. So today Eddie's gonna wax my underarms and I already cleaned them and put baby powder on it. So now all we gotta do is put the wax on it and have him rip it off. Well, it looks like he's being a really big chicken and doesn't want to help me. So I guess I just have to do it myself and hope for the best. I'm really scared because it's different when you're pulling on someone else and then when you're pulling on yourself. I feel like you get take it, you don't pull enough. Or at least I don't, I don't pull enough because I feel like you're trying to go easy on yourself. But if I was waxing somebody else, no problem. I can do that all day. I just can't. And my hard wax doesn't work very well. And I do usually like using hard wax because I feel like you can get, you can do it by section by section and really make sure you get it all. But this time around, and I don't have my wax that I usually use. Usually I have like a honey wax. But this one, I think is just like an aloe. I don't know, it's green. So we'll try it out, but I'm really scared. So wish me luck. The wax is heating up and I'm so nervous. The reason why I'm so nervous is I'm gonna tell you a story while the wax is still heating up. Is because once upon a time before I was even in an aesthetic school, I tried to wax other areas of my body so low and it was the worst thing ever I mean I've heard horror stories from other people about them waxing themselves like them getting their butt cheeks stuck together or other stuff like that but and then it's really hard to get it off so I suggest if you don't know what you're doing don't do it at home go somewhere and get it done professionally because you will regret it you will regret it. Okay, so it looks like the wax is ready. Ah! I don't have like any numbing spray or anything. So let's do this. And Eddie said he was gonna help me and he went to go drop off Jonathan, but the wax is ready and I don't wanna waste any more time. I kinda wanna just see if I can do it myself. So let me get a towel so I don't get my shirt all dirty. How am I gonna wrap this around myself? this, I guess. Okay. Ah, I'm nervous. <laughs> rub, rub. Let's see if I put it on this way, I'm going to rip it off this way. <gasps> So yeah, if you don't know, um, when you're waxing, you put it on the way the hair is going and then you take it off the other way. So I think that's fine. One, two, three! Ah, oh, that hurt. Oh. Oh. Look at all that. Ew. Okay, I got like... 99.9% .9 of them. Um, it wasn't that bad. I am kind of bleeding. I don't know if you, you probably can't see, but it's hella red. But I think I can do this from now on. It wasn't that bad. Let's see the other. Oh! Rub, 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 rub. This one's supposed to keep this tight. Rub, 
Squeezes each other, stays together. Hairless! So I guess we're gonna go look at Apple Watches, cause why? Just to look. No, cause you're tempted. I know he's tempted. I just wanna see him. That's it, just to look, right? Yeah. Just to look. Maybe, I don't know. I might change my mind halfway there and I didn't wanna go. Cause then you're gonna, <laughs> cause you know you're gonna want it. The guys are gonna try to oversell them. Yeah, they will. That's a given. That's why I don't even want to go to the Apple store. I wish they had them at other places. So where do you want to go? You don't they don't think, have them anywhere You don't think they'll have them like at those Best Buys that have like... Well, we, we the, could check. Apple, Apple section. We could check. The one on 5th and... Well, we're going to the Apple store. No, we're not. <laughs> Best Buy. <laughs> well, we got to the soccer fields and they're still playing and it's still raining. So I'm not getting out. I don't want to get wet. But it's not even raining that hard, it's like drizzling. I don't wanna go, I'm gonna get wet. Don't think you're not gonna take a shower. Dun, dun, dun! This is a long water bottle. How many ounces? 50. That's almost what I need in a whole day. You know what, I really am sad that I haven't seen any duck lanes so far this spring. And usually we see a whole bunch by the park even. Have you seen, seen any? Like by your work? I saw those green ducks. The ones with the green, like. I know, but babies? Top part. No. no. I saw it right next to our house. I want to see the ducklings. I'm trying to watch my sugar intake, but look at this on this vitamin water 20 grams of sugar? That's a lot. A lot more than I'm supposed to have in a whole day. But now I have to eat, like. This is plants. only 11. This is a. For real? I Brisk iced tea. It's only 11. I should have just stuck with my really big water and not vitamin water. It's so good. So we're not gonna go to Best Buy or to the Apple Store because Eddie is afraid he's gonna buy it. He's just gonna watch videos all day about it instead. So while Eddie's looking at Apple Watches, I want a Jibo. He can keep his Apple Watch. Have you guys seen this little robot? It's like R2-D2 and Wally. So cute and like your best friend in a robot form. And for someone that's a stay at home kind of person, this guy's your best friend. He can order you take out. It doesn't get any better than that. Well, let me show you just a little bit of what the Jibo can do. Right? You really want a Jibo. The world's first family robot. Say hi, Jibo. Hi, Jibo. <laughs> oh, so cute. Jibo helps so you don't have to skip a beat. Excuse me, Anne? Yes, Jibo. Melissa, just sent a reminder that she's picking you up in half an hour. Oh, I just to want go to grocery shopping. Thanks, Jibo. He's an it connect to your home. Welcome home, Eric. Hey, buddy. Can you order some takeout for me? Sure thing. Chinese, as usual. Look at this. You know me so this. well. And even be a great wingman. You have a voice message from Ashley. Wanna hear it? So you know it's summer when the Paleta man comes. And he comes by and he drops by and gives us like 20 paletas at a time because he knows that we have a big family and we go through them like water. We're on our way to a family party. So first in Chicago. Slash 171st. And we're taking the bike. Hopefully we don't get lost because I don't know Chicago very well. He doesn't know Chicago very well. Chicago. It's like mid Chicago. It's not like the suburbs that we're used to. So we're in Melrose Park and I'm pretty sure we're pretty lost because I don't know where this thing is. Well. I don't know either. I don't know nothing. The only reason Eddie wants to go is because he thinks that there's a chance that the guy, the construction guy, might be here. That's gonna give him a job. Oh, yeah. yeah, so that's the only reason why he's trying so hard to get to this place, I think. That's my hunch. 
because one it's in like not where we live not very close to where we live so I don't know why he would fight so much to go when usually he'll just be like no I'm not gonna go So we made it to the party, and we ate, and we had cake, and it's getting kind of windy and cold, but it's a nice place, nice little park. If you couldn't tell from my hair, I am exhausted, so, so tired. I think we're going to have a bonfire with Will and the fam, but, oh, I'm so tired. What I wouldn't give to just sleep in my nice warm bed after a nice warm shower <sighs> what I... <sighs> today was a really exhausting day um, but for right now looks like we're gonna get ready for bed and watch some Hulu probably the Goldbergs and uh, fresh off the boat <laughs> Those are my two favorite things right now to watch. Good night.